All right, so we're told that one millimeter can be found by dividing that one by a thousand to get it into meters. So with a 2,500 millimeters, we're gonna divide that same 2,500 millimeters by the same thousand. And by doing this, we'll get the answer in meters. So it's gonna be equal to one, well, well, <laughs> to divide by a thousand, move three places to the left, right? One, two, three, and that'll be 2.5. That would be in meters. That's the answer. B. So here's another question. The length of the edge of a cube that has a volume of 27 cubic centimeters. So a cube, a cube has um, volume S, where S is the, 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 the length of one edge. All right. So it says S cube. And so if the volume is... 27 centimeters cubed, which is equal to s cubed, then we can find the length of one edge. How do we do that? Well, we can cube root both sides, right? And this will give us s equal, what's the cube root of 27? In other words, what multiply by itself three times to give us 27? The answer is three. Three times three, which is nine times three, which is 27. So the cube root of, of 27 is 3. So that's the answer. All right, so for this question 33, we're told that the parameter of a square, so we can look at the square with all the sides being of equal lengths. All the lengths are equal. And we're told that the parameter is 48. So if we add the four sides, we're going to get 48. So let's say we call the four side S. Well, S plus S plus S, in other words, 4S, the length of one side, that is S plus S plus S plus S, 4S equals 48. If we want to find the length of one side, we divide simply by 4, which can give us S equals 12, because 12, 4 is 48. Now, what's the area? Well, we can find the area by simply multiplying any two adjacent sides. So there's, we know that one side is 12 centimeters in length. So 12 times 12 is 144 centimeters squared. All right, for this question, 34, we have a trapezium, and the area is 65 square centimeters, and we're asked to find the height. Okay, so let's put it in perspective. So we know the area of a trapezium is half times um, the... Sum of the, per the sum of the parallel sides, let's call them A and B respectively, multiplied by the perpendicular height. So we can put that information in. We're told that the area is 65. So we can plug that in. 65 is equal to a half times the sum of the parallel sides. So we're going to put in 8 plus 18. These are the parallel sides. We're given the measurements 8 and 18 respectively. So let's continue to simplify this. Um, 8 plus 18, that's going to be 26. And half of 26 is 13. Okay, so this guy here is, all of this can be calculated as 26. And half of 26, in other words, 26 divided by 2 is 13. So that's 13 times a half. Now, if we want to find the height, we can divide by 13, because 13 is multiplying the height, the perpendicular height, that is. Which one of these answers will work? Well, 13 times what? Give us 65. That looks like 5 to me. Let's see. Um, 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 5 plus 1 is 6. Yeah. So 13 times 5 is 65. Answer is C.